Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? It's biblical, so let's talk about biblical things, yeah? Um, we're going to be reading the Bible 10 minutes a day in the morning. And right now, we're ta Jesus was talking about parables. And I wanted to talk about one of the parables that we read this morning. And we're also going to talk about how the Holy Ghost works. Because if we're going to read the Bible, we're going to want to have an intention on why we are doing it. It's not like we're just reading a story. We're actually going to try to, you know, understand what we're reading. And, and why, why are we doing it in the first place? Right? Is it just entertainment? Or is it for our salvation of our soul? And that really is what it's about. It is a very deep situation. So we want to know what we're reading and why we're why we are reading it. And uh, so, so instead of it just being something that's just makes no sense, let's really get into it. So how does the Holy Ghost work, right? Well, it, you have to confess your sin first we've all done something wrong every single one of us and every single one of us have been caught for doing something wrong yeah every single one of us doesn't matter what age doesn't matter what it is okay all of us and all of us have not been caught for doing something wrong and even if we have been caught for doing something wrong some of these things need to be addressed in a way that's a simple just, oh, I'm sorry, or too bad for you, or whatever, doesn't work anymore, okay? If we're doing this for our salvation, if those type of things are fine, then, you know, go back into the world. Now, it's exactly what this parable is going to be talking about, okay? So... To, to receive the Holy Ghost, you have to be able to sit there and look at yourself and say, Oh no, I did something pretty bad. And most of us, we can't see that about ourselves because we're judging others and we keep looking at others. And instead of looking at ourselves, we sit there and say, See, I'm not as bad as that person. I'm not as bad as that person. I'm not as bad as that person. Therefore, I'm good. And we know that's not the truth. I mean, back over here. We've all done something bad. And we've all not been caught for doing something bad. All of us. Every single buddy. Now, to receive the Holy Ghost, you've got to sit there and say, Oh my gosh, Jesus, Holy Ghost, God. I... Uh, I, there, there's nothing I can do to go back and redeem or change this and I just uh, I can't believe I slipped like every other person in the entire world Jesus Holy Ghost oh my gosh I am not so special I am not so different I am just like every single other person in the entire world I've done something bad and I wasn't caught. Just like everybody else. If I stop looking over there and pointing my finger and trying to find people that have also not been caught, I will see that it is I, myself, that has not been caught for doing bad things in my life and my past. And Jesus, I was asking for forgiveness for this to somehow or another be fixed, redeemable, or actually what happens usually is you're sitting there on your hands and knees crying like a little tiny baby because you can't believe you did something so stupid. So when this happened to me, it was on a very, very powerful night, December uh, 21st, uh, 2020. 12 <laughs> the night of the Mayan calendar huh so but during this and when I was on my hands and knees doing exactly this just being like every single buddy else that's ever lived on this earth except for one Jesus Christ but every single other 
person in the entire world, I decided to join in on the game of humanity and stop feeling so different and special. I realized I was an idiot and did something stupid and didn't get caught just like everybody else, but if I died right now and looked at you, God, in the face, I would sit there and tremble. Just like every single other person in the world. And to sit there and say when my tears that I was serious, for 31 years I smoked cigarettes and I threw my cigarette in the fire and instantly... The Holy Ghost took away every single craving. I never had a single craving for a second, not for a day, ever since that moment. It was a miracle in itself. There was two miracles that happened at that exact moment. To receive them to be taken away at the same time. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's get into the parable of the Bible. And what now when we go through the Bible and we talk about this, the p different parables, we're going to understand them more as we go on. The first four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, are the same basic scenario of just a different viewpoint. So you're going to hear these parables and the story four books in a row, but just a bit different. So everything will really start to click. Now, I want to talk about the one parable that we were talking about this morning because it's pretty hard sometimes when it says, When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Now, when you get the Holy Ghost and you receive it, now, granted, I have no cigarette, no nicotine, and no addiction whatsoever. That was taken away. Yes? Now, when I receive the Holy Ghost, now you go out into the world and when you walk and you see that there's just, oh my gosh, all the sin and iniquity that just plagues this world, there is no rest. You can't go and just all of a sudden just live like you did before the day and moment of crying on your knees and receiving the Holy Ghost. The jokes aren't as funny anymore. The games aren't as funny anymore. The, uh, the, the, the lack of uncaring is unacceptable anymore. Okay, I mean, so there's just a new world in yourself. And when you go forward into the world, you, 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 can't, you, you can't find any rest. Because you, all you see is this now. That just like everybody is in... And you don't see it when you're in your own individual world looking and pointing at other people saying how bad they are to prove how good you are. Right? Are you guys with me so far? So now, when I've gone out into the world and received this and go and see and look and see and get no rest, if I come... Okay, so we read on. And he finds, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from which I had come out. And when he had come out, he findeth empty, and swept, and garnished. And then he goeth, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. Okay, and now, what that's saying now, is that if I receive the Holy Ghost... And I'm genuine, and I'm on my hands and knees, and I even make a sacrifice of such things, of quitting my addiction to prove that I want to be forgiven. Okay? And I go forward, and then I realize that, oh my gosh, man, it was much easier. Look at everybody else's laughing and joking, and even though you can't go back, but if you do go back... And pick up that cigarette. Me. If I go back and pick up that cigarette. It won't be the addiction of just the tobacco and nicotine. It would be seven more unclean, wicked spirits other than myself. I would probably have, what, drug addiction through the medical field, say. Maybe get in a car accident, break a leg, and then get addicted to the pills. You know, which I've never had a pill my entire life. Uh, what, pick up alcohol again?